Hey guys, how are you going? Welcome to your third Svelte tutorial. This one is going to be on HTML attributes. Okay, so um, Svelte makes it super easy for you to add and manipulate HTML attributes, and it's even got a few tricks up its sleeve when it comes to um, adding them quite easily. Okay, so um, in this example, we're going to be adding an image source to an image element. Okay, so um, right up here, we're going to first define the URL for the image source. Okay, so Right up here, we can just make a new variable called image source, uh, which is going to be equal to uh, forward slash decode dash logo dot png. So this one right here refers to um, the logo, uh, or uh, should I say the decode uh, logo. Um, that sits within the public directory right here. So essentially, we're just referencing that image. Okay, so now um, we can go down to the HTML section and we can quite easily create a new image element right here. Okay, so for the image source, we know we need to refer to this variable right up here. So we can achieve this by putting through um, just these curly braces once again and then simply passing through image source just like that. So now, as long as I specify an alternate text, so for example, uh, you know, uh, decodes logo, something like that, right? Uh, specifying this, um, if I save this, we can see in the browser, we get the decode logo right here. So it's actually quite large. So let's go back inside here and just make this a tiny bit smaller. So a width of 150. And we can see indeed uh, the logo is definitely displaying in the browser. Okay, so that is the uh, the basics of actually um, adding your attributes. Now, we can actually make this uh, a lot simpler. So let's rename this image source to instead be source just like that. So now, of course, we're going to get the exact same result. But we can actually only specify in curly braces right here. Okay, so as long as your variable name matches the actual attribute name, like this for example, so source, it's going to automatically add that attribute. So now, if I was to uh, save this, we can see it all still works perfectly fine. Okay, so um, that is uh, that is quite a neat feature. Um, obviously, you can you know use it for many different things, right? So, um, one more thing to cover, or actually two more things to cover. Uh, the first one is going to be, uh, you can actually specify um, JavaScript expressions within your attributes. Okay, so for example, if I want to go up here and I want to say something like, um, let's do, let's do, uh, let's do channel name equal to decode. Okay, and then we can say in the alt text, we can just simply go inside here, we can use curly braces, and we can say channel names logo. So now saving this, we can see upon going inside the inspector, we of course get the alternate text decodes logo right there. Okay. Now the very last thing to cover is going to be Boolean attributes. Okay. So when it comes to Boolean attributes, um, so for example, let's just take an input field with a disabled attribute. Okay. So let's remove all of this stuff right here and make a new input field with a type of text and then we can just say a value of uh, this is some sample text okay then we can say disabled just like that so now uh, saving this we're going to see of course that the actual input field is going to be disabled so as we can see it is definitely disabled right there now um, what if I want to uh, switch up that disabled state with Zelt so if I go back inside here and I'll make a new variable called, um, let's just do uh, is disabled is equal to, then I can make this uh, true. Okay. Now, if I was to just quite simply do equals here, then specify is disabled inside curly braces, that is going to work. So now, um, essentially, we're going to see the exact same result disabled equals true. So, of course, in the browser, we can see it is indeed still disabled. If I was to go back inside here and just make disabled equals false, it is now not going to be disabled. So going back inside the browser, we can see, of course, it is now once again editable. Now, like we did earlier, we can quite easily uh, rename this variable to be disabled instead. And as we saw earlier, as long as the, uh, the variable name matches the attribute name, we can quite easily just wrap this disabled inside curly braces and it's gonna work the exact same way. So of course, disabled false is going to um, once again, allow it to be editable. If I make this disabled true, it is in fact going to be disabled. Let's save this and we can see it is right there disabled. Okay, so um, that is uh, working with HTML attributes in Svelte. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.